All right, we are here with week 33 of It's Business Time, and we are joined this week by Nitro Nitra, epic git on Hello. the show. Hi. How are you doing? I'm amazing. That is so awesome. It's so great to have you. Thank you. I, Our circles run broad. Yeah. And we have been kind of crisscrossing for a while. Okay. I've been waiting to get you here on the show for, for quite some time because... This series started out as like a, a, a business podcast. Okay. Right? But because of the arts and music world, and one of my pledges on this series was to make sure, like I always wanted in my life, yeah. to view artists and musicians the way that they are, which are small businesses. Mm -hmm, yeah. You know, so as I have them on, it's great because we wind up learning just as much about uh, marketing and customer service yes. and developing clientele and all that kind of business stuff. I learned just as much from the artists and musicians as I do from businesses as well. Gotcha. So you're an incredible blend of the two <laughs> for awesome. sure. Awesome. Um, I am so happy to be here. Yeah. No, this is <laughs> On great. your 33rd episode, master number 33. Yeah, right. It's a magical number. <laughs> that's that's what I hear. That's what I hear for sure. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay. But, yeah, so before we get rolling, I do always like to give a quick shout-out to Stitch House okay. for having us. Yeah, shout-out um, to Stitch House. They are right here on Market Street. They got great food. Always have 12 beers on, dra on draft. I am drinking the Wit beer. You got yourself a nice uh, club and crayon. They club got and crayon. What, what you want here. So swing through Stitch House, again, right here on Market Street. Cheers. Cheers. And with that, we are rolling. So, Yay. again, Nitro, appreciate you so much for coming through. Um, I like to, like to kind of start at the beginning. You have so much going on right now. And just in the last year, following your socials and, yeah. and all that stuff has been so much fun. Like, Thank you. Truly a rock star among us. Thank you. <laughs> um, but I want to kind of go back to the beginning because okay. where you're at right now is so impressive, so cool. That, that it's like for those, a lot of this series too is for those who are sitting at home right. and they want to strike out. They want to start building their brand. They yes. want to create something new. Maybe yes. they have a product and they don't know how to build around it or whatever yeah. it is. I like to try and like give them a little bit of those early days to, to show them that a lot of times the only barrier between starting that thing mm. is... Is you, right? Or Absolutely. Finding the time. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so can you tell, Ellis, a little bit about what got you into music? Yes. And then kind of what you were doing before you started Nitro Nitra, the, the band, the, yes. the act, the the legend. <laughs> <laughs> well, absolutely. I, uh, I love to tell... Uh, where I started because it's so intertwined and a part of who it is that Nitro Nitra is. Right. Um, so ever since I was a little girl, I was a singer and I always wanted to do rock music, right? Nice. But you go through life and you hear things like have a backup plan, mm -hmm. um, just to be safe. Um, you should do this kind of music right, because right. that's what you should do right. or you're too much. You should be this way. So for years and years, I was stuck in this box of c conditioning right. and and doing what everybody said that I should be doing. Right. Um, so in 2018, okay. um, after living this life of being stuck in a box yeah. and uh, fighting a 16 year battle with addiction mm. and being in institutions, mm. um, being in a relationship with the same person for 15 years and then just being in, in jobs that I never liked. Right. So I was just on this cycle of like never doing what it is that I actually wanted to do or what I came to the earth to do, yeah, right? I so love I'm just this. like stuck on this cycle, just round yeah. and round and round, and I'm like, wait a minute. So in 2018, mm -hmm. I had um, an awakening, yeah, right, and I uh, I had just um, broke up with my partner mm -hmm. who I was with for 15 years. Yeah, we wow. just broke up. I I was forced to go back home. Mm. So I, as I'm at my mom's house in Delaware. Mm -hmm. um, I am so upset, so I go to sleep that night, and I'm just distraught because here I am 
but back at my mom's, I have absolutely nothing, and I don't know where my life is going, right? Right, right? So I go to sleep, and then I had this dream, and I seen this being um, standing on top of a clock tower. Okay, wow. And she was looking at me, and I was looking at her, and she was telling me, it is time, right? Yeah, Time wow. for me to work on myself. Time for me to awaken. Mm. Um, so after that night, something happened within myself, right? Yeah. And I said, you know what? It's time for me to just leave the world, Yeah. work on myself, because I am a singer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's what I need to be doing, and I need to rock, right? Wow. I came here to rock, so that's what I need to do. Yeah. So from that time on, I pretty much detached from the world, mm -hmm. started to work on myself, yeah. started to uh, work on my subconscious mind because I knew that this was the blocker right. to where I was going, right? So I knew that this whole period of me living that kind of life was all because I didn't believe in myself. Yeah. And I didn't believe that if I bet on myself that I could go far. And then 2018 was the year that said, oh, no, oh, no. Wow. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you could die soon. Like, let's do right. what we came here to do. Like, yeah. what are we doing? So I just started to work on myself. And then, you know what? Set the intention. And then doors just started to open. Doors just started to open. And it was as if the universe was like, we've been waiting for you, girl. Oh <laughs> I love that. You use the term awa awaken. Yeah. Right. And yeah. wow. I, I definitely feel feel that like when we brought it into each other in yeah, the scene yeah. and stuff like this is an awakened soul yeah you know and and oh, I, i'm sure the specific story of like that was you know lots of highs and lows to right. get to that point. absolutely absolutely but i do lots of lows actually lots of lows right <laughs> <laughs> it's like people say uh, hills and valleys yeah. long valley like, <laughs> lots of lows but right. but um but here's the thing and Napoleon Hill has this quote, right? Mm -hmm. In every adversity, mm -hmm. there is a greater or equal reward. Yeah. So for me and my story, I was low for so many years in my life right. that that as I begin that frequency climb wow. up, yeah. the potential to go that high right. is there because I've been so low. Right. So if you're ever really, really low, understand that the exact opposite of that actually exists based off of your frequency. So, wow, that is, that is a very powerful message. <laughs> Honestly, like that hit me. I, I got chills, you know, awesome. in the, like it, it, from the sense of like, you know, that message, it doesn't matter how low you are. It doesn't matter yeah. where you're at. Remember that, yeah. you know, you're going to get that same kind of absolutely reverberation back. Right. And right. I also love the, like, it was almost as if the universe was waiting for me. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. people, you know, at, when we're younger I in music and arts, a lot of people, especially people who love us, will tell us, yeah. like, you know, have a backup plan, yeah. do that other thing. Yeah. Kind of say, like, hedge your bets a little bit. Yes. And and th that is good, good advice in a lot of ways. But there is an element, too, that it's like by hedging your bet, you don't actually jump off the cliff and fly. Right. And so you kind right. of are, are like your wings don't get strong. Right. You know what I mean? And, you and cannot straddle that fence. I'm going to yeah. tell you right now. You cannot straddle the fence. You got to say, this is what I'm going to do. This is who I am. Claim that and then yeah. begin to walk in it and then begin to release everything that does not align with that path. I love that. Seriously. So, so we've had some life coaches on, on this series here. Okay. And a lot of a lot of the core of that stuff is yeah. is they try and help people like kind of get those weights yeah. off yeah. so that so that they can go fly right? right so they can be their best self right was there um, I mean it sounds like that it was a dream it was a dream in that dream your like inner self yes told that you was when you <laughs> wake up tomorrow you can wake up without the weight yeah wow. but it didn't just just leave me right because right. at the end of the day you've been telling yourself this certain story yeah. right for all of your life i'm an addict i don't have anything i am no right. good like right. these were the the re repetitive 
cycle of thoughts happening in my mind yeah. on a daily basis, right? So with that being said, to go from from that into I am a champion, I am a superhero, I mean, wow. it didn't happen overnight for me. I'm not saying it's not possible because I have heard of some right. masters that that have shifted like overnight. Right. Right. So for me, because I had started, let's say, on frequency level one, right? right? And I want to rise to frequency level 12, right? right? For me, it took me, um, I detached from everyone. Mm -hmm. I would do water fasting. I would listen to frequencies in my ear mm. at nighttime because of the simple fact is that you have to think of your brain as a computer, right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. whatever programs you have running in that brain, mm -hmm. that will be your reality because for real, for real, this is an avatar, right? right so right. we have to think of this like a freaking video game here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, my gosh. So I would listen to those frequencies. I had made a list of affirmations like I am a singer that travels all around the world, da, 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 da. Right. whatever you want to be, right? right. Make this list, make these ap affirmations, right? Make a recording of it, yeah. and I would listen to it in my ear every single night. Wow. And, and, and this is prior to me having a band, prior to me singing, because I knew that first I had to work on the belief in myself. Yeah. That's where wow. it all starts, you. So I would do that, water fast, frequencies, claim it, voice lessons. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? No, I'm just literally breaking away from the external world and – Working on myself. I, I expected this interview to be good. I didn't expect it to be this good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, that is that is um, the idea. I've been thinking about this a lot recently, yeah. too. Yeah. That, like, you know, you put it out there, you manifest it, but you have to remind yourself because every day yeah. is different. Yeah, oh, every right? day. And that, that, that kind of repetition. Yes. I have a handful of people I'm going to make sure watch this episode because awesome. we've been talking about this a lot this week, too. Yeah. And and um, yeah, that's just that's such a beautiful story. Yeah. And it actually like as someone who, you know, doesn't know you very, very well. Like right, we right. know each other casually through yeah. the scene stuff. But like but I've seen a lot of your content. Mm -hmm. I think to myself a lot when I see your stuff. I'm like, who is this like <laughs> this alien <laughs> who came from outer space? You know, this superhero, <laughs> this the way you lean into the power that you have, yeah, and the way you embrace that, yeah. it, it's really admirable. Um, Thank you. Th and and that's the, the 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 simplest way to say it, admirable, right? Yeah. But really, it's incredible. Um, and all you have to do is just like scroll through one of your socials for a minute <laughs> to yeah. be like, this person is embracing every day. Yes. And a lot of what you just said, too, just by the way, for those at home on her socials, you have a very similar story. I watched that um, earlier this week mm -hmm. where you kind of tell, uh, you know, that you felt like you were in a box. Yeah. And Always in this box. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so add in a little bit of the music part, too. So you're okay. breaking out of this box. Where breaking did the, out of this box. The, the rock revolution, the, that next layer. Because we're going to get to some of the yeah, fun yeah. stuff you're doing now. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But, but, like, yeah, let's kind of connect that. Like, so you've awakened. You're on this journey. Yeah. You're working on yourself. You've yes. kind of, y you've a phoenix type, you know. <laughs> it's a phoenix, Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, That's why don't be afraid of the fire within. Because the fire within is your friend. Because it wants to break down programs that no longer serve you. Yeah. And this took... A, a lot all of me actually looking at my inner demons per right, se like right. all of the anchors and the pain and the trauma and right. the suffering that was holding me down me looking at it and then saying you know going to battle with it but then saying come here yeah what do you want to tell me <laughs> what do you want to tell word. me baby because there's so much like inner child stuff that right. is happening right yeah. that like you have carried this since you were a child maybe even in the womb i right. know for me a, a lot of it started in the womb yeah and it was about me like listening to it like hey what do you want to tell me and just listening to it and then loving it because you want to really love all aspects of yourself even the parts that <laughs> you deem to be dark right, right? right. you want to take your light take your dark and integrate with it both. Yeah. So for me, having to live this life of, oh, you should be like an R&B singer. You should 
sing gospel, da 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 da, right? I was always in this box, but being in that in that box, right? right forces me to build up all this energy mm. and, and, and potential right. that is just waiting for me because I was so um, uh, burdened right. for so long. So once you get out of the box, it's like, no, I am ready to rock. I right. am here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, so Rock Revolution for me, because I have had songs before the Rock Revolution, right. but I say that... Um, my song Train, which which made it on NBC American Song Contest, right? Oh wow! Um, that Tra- I wrote Train, with, you said yes. It? Okay, yeah. That I wrote with Jimmy Church. Mm-hmm. That song is about uh, me being on a train of like addiction and the right, worst right. things in life, and like trying to find my way home. Stuck Whereas, on the track, yeah. Right. Yeah. Whereas Rock Revolution is. Oh, no, here I am, you know? Right, so, like, now right. it's, like, from a place of freedom of, oh, no, I know who I am now because I have released so much on that train, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so I am now off the train. Wow. And I'm ready to rock. I, you know I what I'm love saying? It. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, and it, it's very contagious. I'm sitting yeah. here like, all right, enough of this interview. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Ro- like. Let's go. Because <laughs> it is, it's very childlike in a way, too, yeah. where, like, as you're talking about it, I am like almost m- like getting misty eyed about that time yeah. when so 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 I I realized how fun music was through punk, punk music. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And I am like remembering a time when I would wake up and I would say of all the things I could do with my day, there's only one thing <laughs> that's going to really, you know, yes. make it feel right. <laughs> I want to rock. I know. I want to rock. Yeah, that's so cool. It's also um it also makes a lot of sense too why yeah. the types of people that have gravitated towards you have yeah. gravitated towards you. Yeah, yeah. I know our mutual friend Genesis. <laughs> Genesis right? like, D, yeah, who we deep, love. Deep in his soul too, <laughs> like he's just he just loves to rock and like he loves it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the path of of, uh, of uh, uh, awakening and yeah, all that type absolutely. of stuff. Absolutely. That is so my cool. that is my star seed brother. Yeah, Seriously. yeah. Seriously, him and Dustin. I love. I just love them. Oh yeah, for sure. They're. They're uh, one of a kind. Yeah. We'll say that. Absolutely one of a kind. All three of you are, are incredibly one of a kind. I love it. <laughs> they and those two, I knew that when I wanted to bus up and go into Conquer Mall and uh, Walmart. All right. All right, okay. all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I love this. And I want you to talk about this. I, I want to preface it, though, real quick. Because, again, like your social your socials are so phenomenal. Thank so you. interesting. Thank you. And so now we're mostly caught up. You started rocking. Okay, yeah. So I started rocking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I had my first band, right? Yeah. And we did like a regional tour. I didn't mean to interrupt. You tell the Conquer Mall story. Oh, I was go. just okay. saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I started rocking. So fast forward to, it's to the music today. Right. right? And uh, um, I forgot where we were. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, we'll, we'll go back. We'll go back. Okay. We'll go back. Okay, because cause the Concord Mall, that was relatively recent. No, and I love this. I mean, it's infectious. Um, all right, so so you started rocking, regional yeah. tour, lead us up to yeah. uh, Gable and Ladybug and all that stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. so I started rocking, did the regional um, tour, and I had a band called Cosmic Vibe. And then okay. during that time, I had um, really had a vision of a harder type of a sound okay um so i have had to explore some uh things with other people and musicians love the cosmic vibe because they right. were my like first yeah, band yeah, and yeah. i just it's a great name love them and i love them and uh we have paul in the band mm-hmm. randy you know randy oh yeah randy waters randy I mean, waters he's the man legend. who i love absolute Delaware michael leger ken hawks like i had this whole whole team and then um you know when the vision calls for you to um make a shift like you just got to do it you right, know so right. the vision uh was more of, of like this harder sound like a super villain superheroes come together trojan viking you know right right <laughs> that right. kind of vibe you know so um jimmy church who i actually started doing the open mics with i've been singing with him and writing with him for over 10 years. Mm-hmm, we mm-hmm. actually started each and every band 
Um, and the band that we have now, we have Dan Martino mm-hmm. on bass. Jimmy Church, he is rhythm. Scott Brady, he is lead. Um, and we have a new drummer, Johnny Zapo. Okay. Uh, so I'm excited. Like, this is the sound that, yeah. like, harder, like, classic rock with, like, harder attributes. Right. Metal right. attributes, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, right, so, right. But one of the greatest things that anyone ever told me after a show was, hey, you have your own sound. Yeah. I said, thank you so and much. And you do. You do. Yeah, I listen you know, to you it. And, and you sound. write a, you, uh, all, all your songs, most yeah. of your songs? Yeah, absolutely. So so, so all the songs. I write um, some of the songs. Jimmy and I uh-huh. write some of the songs. I write with Joe Mass. I write with different people. Gotcha. And then I bring it to the band. And then we make it into something, you know. Epic. Yeah. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. That's it. That's so a, a lot of the lyrics, those, th- those are, are, is that mostly your lyrics? Or do you have like a. Co- co-writers on a lot of lyrics or because um, i'm a big lyric guy that's why i ask i don't ask to like suss out song, right? okay so, so like, song's a little love bit won't okay wait was a personal thing so love won't wait um, by the way check yes, it out yes love won't wait all streaming platforms one of my favorite songs i wrote that song with joe mass maybe about 12 years ago okay and joe mass came to me and this is before nitro was born right, right. so i was still trying to find her but i was like yeah 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 on yeah. the cusp of like finding like I have breadcrumbs in the idea of it, you know. Right, right. Uh, so Joe Mass was like, I have this hook, love won't wait. And I was like, yeah. okay, cool. So then at that time, I was like a hot mess in, right? Right, So right. I went home. I was with the ex-boyfriend. He mm-hmm. was threatening to leave. And, mm-hmm. like, all he wanted from me was, like, this, this love and mm-hmm. me to be this good girlfriend. But at that time, I didn't even love myself, so I couldn't give that right, to him. Right, right. Yep. So I started writing, you know, love yep. one way. So love one way came from a lot of the pain right. that I was feeling at that time. And gotcha. then now it has evolved into like this epic, amazing song that you should check out. Because yeah, it's like one of my is. favorite it's songs and it's filled with all this energy. It is. It's a great, it's yeah. a great song. And, and the best place to check that out is that Spotify. Just Spotify, iTunes, any yep. streaming we gotcha. are on. And the video will be coming soon. But yeah. then I write a lot of songs like Train. That one was with Jimmy Church, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So um, Rock Revolution, that was written with Tommy Joyner from okay. Milk Boy, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, So yeah, I just yeah. love to write with people, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's, that's it, great. It's just great. But I want to get you back to the mall, right? Yeah, so yeah, So I yeah. had this idea <laughs> Since Rock Revolution right. was coming out, hey, I said I want to just go start a Rock Revolution like while people are just doing regular things. Let's right, just go right. to the mall <laughs> and let's go to Walmart. And I knew that the only two people that would be willing to do this with me was Genesis Z and Dustin Manucci. <laughs> Shout out both previous guests on It's Business Time, both Genesis and Dustin. Yes. They are both very, very unique, special guys. This yes. is so perfect. And they they would be the only two. <laughs> Cause they I mean in the video we're just awesome. like all aliens. So only aliens can like do things like that. Definitely. Without it being a thing. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. I it takes me like 15, 20 minutes to put put my suit on every <laughs> <laughs> Every day. <laughs> yeah. That's a. I don't like to talk about uh, my stuff too much on these. This is about you, but okay. that's actually what the full carbon getup is. Okay. Is this is a carbon-based oh, getup sweet. that we're wearing. Oh, my God. And it's a meat suit that our jeans or sole or whatever you like wears to walk through time. First off, you're speaking my language, <laughs> and I'm in love. That's the okay. only reason I shared it. <laughs> I love that. But you were saying well, earlier, carbon, that yeah, is, that's so awesome. Yeah, this is we're carbon based, and and I'm I'm a big jeans I guy. I love jeans, yes. and it's like so like my dad wore his meat suit. Yeah. I'm wearing my meat suit. Yeah. The next generation wears theirs. Right. But there's a through line that has nothing to do with our meat suits. Okay. You know. Yeah. Our, it's it's we're this chain of carbons through yes. through time. Yes. But anyway, I yes. thought you'd appreciate it. Yes. That's the only reason I jumped in there. Um, but but that's the time travelers, dude. Every morning I wake up, I gotta strap on my full carbon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just 
<laughs> fell in love. Oh, you have I no appreciate idea. that. Like I love it. Like I love that kind of <laughs> stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's funny too, because like um, in this series, I talk a lot about like you know marketing and how yeah. people find leads and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. We don't get a whole lot into like the esoteric. <laughs> That's my whole life. I'm going to tell you right now, my whole life is Twilight Zone, yeah. parallel realities, Matrix. Like, that's my whole life. But and, you brought it out. And that's you know. why I don't have a lot of friends and I don't hang out with a lot of people <laughs> because for the most part, yeah. nobody has any idea what I'm talking about. The, the real ones know. <laughs> I am usually in my house by myself, hanging out with the spirits. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, right. So Marcus Lebo, no, I'm music. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah, you know? it's good. Yeah. It's, but yeah, so so you found your tribe a lot in yes. in Dustin and and Genesis yeah, yeah, and, absolutely. And, and everyone else. Absolutely, um, and that's that's really important. A, a lot of the things that come up in when you're talking to people in yeah. a setting where it's like, where'd you get this idea? How's it going? All yeah. that stuff. Yeah, people are either looking for their tribe or they found their tribe. Yes. Because th that is one of the hardest things, whether you're growing a business, developing right. a band, doing whatever, Absolutely. is finding some people that will do the crazy stuff with you, that will take Absolutely. the risks Absolutely. with you. Absolutely. And I write a lot of music with Genesis Z. Like, mm -hmm. he's on Rock Revolution. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, like, when I met him, I was like, hi, sir. Yeah, and we yeah. just clicked, you know? Yeah. And it was yeah. like, you know, I know you from Atlantis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Shout out to Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I do want to keep these digestible. I can tell okay. we're going to have a lot of conversations <laughs> off camera here when we're done. Okay, um, keep it digestible for the people. Yeah, sorry. yeah. I want to keep it digestible in terms of time wise. Yeah. You know, it's sorry, easy not to get, sorry. It's yeah, right. It's easy to get carried away, but you have okay. such a cool story, and Thank honestly, you. like it goes so much deeper than just like the day-to-day -day operations right, like right. the way that oh i book shows like this or i do you know it goes so much deeper for right. you this is clearly a spiritual journey yes it's like it's who you are like right. you you don't like put on an act and then take it off again like yeah. it's all and i mean right. of course you know we all do that a little bit when we're on yeah, stage yeah. but yeah, yeah. but um yeah it just it flows through you right you know it's it's right. very very cool well so for i'm sorry no no well for me um it's it's so throughout the day mm -hmm. um i i have done this thing where i have have learned how to integrate my light and my dark to right. sit in my oneness yeah. so for me wow. throughout the day i am usually like this bubbly jolly rainbows i'm not saying all the time but, right, right, but right. most of the time <laughs> jolly rainbows right. type of person yeah but for me, when I'm on that stage, then I get to release my right. darkness yeah. and she's fearless and like powerful. And I used to run from her and hide from her. Right. And, and she probably scares a lot of people now. Right. But you know what? I no longer hide her right. and I no longer run from her. So she gets to really live in that place on that stage. Yeah. And that's what I absolutely love. Wow. So so it's like, yeah, what you see is what you get. But there's aspects of me that um, I don't hide either of them, right. you know, wow. but it's all all one at the same time. My mind is blown. Like yeah. I said, I knew this was going to be a good yeah. interview, but this was like I just have my mind is just like running, <laughs> running, running. Oh my God. Um, I'm so like that dude off of um, what do you call it? The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the mayor. Right. He right, like right. turns around. He's like. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah. he's like, turn around, he's like, ah! He's like, hey! He's like, ah! That's awesome. Yo, so, so you you're absolutely have to come back. I, I, okay. I'm, like, dying inside that we have to wrap this up at some oh, point. Oh, is it over? I mean, it's it, we're pretty much at that point. Like, we're trying to keep these around, like, 20, 25 oh, minutes, it, you know? We so just traveled through, through them time, and yeah, we just came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, and I do want to make sure to before you go to, to okay. give a proper like how can every what's the best way that people can find you is that Instagram? Yes. Yeah, so Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Nitro Nitra, N-I-T-R-O, N-I-T-R-A. We on we are on absolutely everything. Listen, go to our website, www.nitronitra.com. Join the Rock Revolution mailing list for updates because Rock Revolution is a movement that I'm that 
I have started. And it's not just about rock music, but it's about breaking free from who you once were and stepping into who you were born to be by devouring your absolute fears. So go to the website, right? Join the email, right? Check us out. You'll love the music. Rock it out with us. Come to our shows. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yo. This has yeah, been great. A- absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> I, I don't think I need to ask who is the mastermind behind the brand. I think she's right here. Nitro no. Nitra. <laughs> no, that is, I can't, I can't sum it up any better than that. Awesome. That is wonderful. It has been so awesome to have you, yes, Nitro. Yes, thanks like, for having me. Honestly, thank you for joining week 33. Yes, the 33 master number. number. I know. <laughs> and definitely follow, do, do what you need to do to keep yes. your eye on her because... You know, I, I see a lot of good things coming. Awesome. Thank you so much. And by the way, you can find me in the Delaware Today magazine in the street style style section. I'm about to go get my copy right after this. Nice. Yeah, I just That's I saw awesome. You. Yeah, Shout out sure. to uh, Delaware Today, Pam George, Dove's Hell. Joe Del Tufo, who Joe Del Tufo. shot some amazing shots. Oh, so, yeah, he's, he's yeah. quite killer. Shout out to them. Very, very close friend of, of myself in business time, yes. you know, through the years. I've known him 20 years now. It's crazy. Yes. Oh, my God. Um, but I yeah, love Joe. With that, I want to wrap. Yes. In that, like, you, you are killer. This has been so much fun. Yes. Nitro Nitra, thank you again for coming through. That's it for week 33 of It's Business Time. Yes. Thank you all for tuning in. We will catch you all next week and definitely, definitely join the rock revolution. Join the rock revolution. It's been.